All right, this is your lab on groundwater and surface water interactions. So if you look on the first six pages, just read through that of your lab manual. And this is activity one. After you get about halfway through it, this is what your setup is going to look like. You have installed your impermeable clay layer here. You just make sure that you stick that to the walls and to the floor. And you've put down a layer of sand and uh, and it asks you to put in some wells. Here's a here's my well. It's kind of hard to see. Here's a well. Here's a well. It's the bigger tube ones. Cut that in half and put and stick it down in there. And then you put a layer of gravel on the top. And of course, that represents the ground surface, and these wells will allow you to experiment with the groundwater. So that is our setup, and from here, we are going to perform some experiments. All right, we're raining on it. This is what my model looks like. I've tried to make a slight gradient and we're supposed to just fill it up until it makes it over into the other section. This is number numbers 8 and 9 in your lab manual. Alright, in, in steps 10 through 15 we're using this straw and this pipette to measure the water level in these wells. So you can stick this in, you pull out the water, and you want to observe what happens to the water level in the well by marking it on this straw over time. And this represents drawing water from a well and what happens when you draw too much water from the well and how long it takes to recharge over time. Next we're going to inject some contaminant into the reservoir and see what happens as we pull water out of these wells to see if it is contaminated. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. This is just a quick video to get you started. I want you to read and figure the rest of it out on your own, and please submit by following the directions below.